All oh, right, welcome everyone to some dungeon crawl stone soup. Uh, I am recording very late at night today because I messed up my time schedule and it's now almost 12 o'clock and I have to wake up for uni tomorrow. So I apologize if today is a bit of a shorter video, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So it's okay. <coughs> okay, so long blades is at 18. I think we wanted to get it to 20 because we wanted a great sword. Yeah. Um, our character was doing really well. We got to the point where we wanted to do Swamp, uh, Swamp 4, but I said, okay, it's a little bit dangerous to go in there now. I think given how many decks of destruction we have, we could probably just go for it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'll go to Vaults first. It's not a big deal. Wait, did we clear Vaults already? Holy shit, wait. Oh, we totally did lol. Uh, okay, let's do Swamp then. Um, at this point now, our character should be strong enough to kind of just handle whatever Swamp throws at us. We should be pretty much fine with it. Uh, the character has come out really strong. I think last video we ended up picking up some pretty decent gear. Uh, using the Pearl Dragon Scales for some whatever reason. Okay, you can see there that I can still I still take a significant amount of damage from a Hydra. Despite my good defense, uh, the... The Great Soul's just kind of not cutting it, which is a little bit of a shame, but, uh, you know, just deal with it, I guess. Have to figure it out on our own. I have no idea why I'm not our poise. I think I was trying to do something, and then I stopped doing it. Uh, I'm going to run Elixir here. Oh, this Elixir only gave me mana. That sucks. Uh, let's throw out... Okay, this is really bad. Uh... Okay, deal four summoning deck okay so deal for summon is probably one of the strongest like options that a nemelex user has it summons it draws four cards uses all of them so you can see here that i've just suddenly created an army of stuff to hide behind which is really really potent um as you can see and if i see the danger increasing i can just continue to summon more stuff which uh yeah it's one of the reasons why nemelex is so strong you can just kind of do that uh with impunity Obviously you need a summoning deck, but for me I'm not really concerned about the number of decks I have, so kind of okay with it. Alright, the uh, Thorn Hunters might be a bit more of an issue than I was originally preparing for, because I don't have our poise for some reason. I don't know what I was doing to... I had a Swamp Dragon, a Plate Armor of Poison Resist that I was using, and then now I'm not for some reason. Uh, that's kind of weird. Let's check out what this uh, Swamp Dragon armor is. 2317. I mean, it's not great, but it does give me our poise. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. It's not my ideal, but it'll do for now. The Like, we only need to do... We only need to be our poise for a little longer, and then we can just kind of chill out anyway, so it's fine. <coughs> oh man, I've been getting uh, so... Like, I've been getting into Stardew Valley again. This time with a uh, co-op multiplayer spin holy shit that game is I, I turned the profit margin down to like 50 percent and the game became like stupid hard for no reason <laughs> i'm like passing out in the middle of the day trying to farm crops because that's all i'm doing right now like i'm not playing like single player where i just like you know do all this other stuff during the day nope fuck it i'm just only farming I'm trying to make as much bank as i can and i gotta say it, it's fun as hell but it's hard man yeah, I'm getting back, really back into that, and uh, I don't know. I, I did give, I did do some Stardew Valley stuff early on the channel like a while ago, but you know the 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 response was a little less than stellar, and I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, this is a dungeon crawl stone soup channel after all. It doesn't really need to be adding extra stuff on, but uh, yeah. So now I just play it on my own, but it's fucking really good. I I suggest that if you don't play it. If you haven't watched on the channel, go play it. Go pick it up. It's really good. The dev added multiplayer on his own. It's worth your time, I guess, checking out. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm just going to spam Deck of Destruction. Do a bit of extra DPS, I guess. Flayed Ghost, of course, making it very easy for me to handle everything. I don't know why I'm starving on this character. It makes no fucking sense. Does Evoke... It, maybe Evocations must... Like, evoking a deck must cost some amount of hunger or something, because I am just constantly starving. I don't know what it is. Like, am I not eating food? I don't get it. What the fuck is wrong with this character? Why am I starving? I'm, 
There's no hunger things anymore, right? They removed all those things, I assume. Like, god damn it. Alright, well we got our second room, it's fine though. We can now go to depths. And uh Oh, that's a lot of stuff. And I forgot to put my Pearl Dragon armor on. Whoops. Okay, a lot of stuff here. Not a huge deal though for the character. I'm kind of okay with that. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and enchant this double sword to at least plus five. Just because I'm not doing enough damage with it, to be honest. It just feels really shitty to use right now. That might be contributing to why I'm starving. Not not like completely, but it might be a partial reason. I'm just not doing enough damage. It's taking too long for me to like I have to recover from fights all the time. I mean that seems like kind of a weak reasoning, but whatever. It's fine. We'll just use it. It's okay. Didn't I have a scarf of resistance? No, I don't. Okay. Apparently I have a scarf of repulsion. Interesting. Ah, oh, there's a potion of haste. Feels bad, man. Uh, let's throw destruction out a couple of times here. Okay, that was pretty good. Throw some more destruction. I'm just throwing them out willy-nilly because it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but you can see here it's pretty devastating when I do use them. Um, they're pretty much destroying everything by accident, almost. Throw out a wand of clouds just to kind of increase the amount of chaos that's happening. Try to eat some of these corpses because, goodness, I'm starving again. What am I doing? I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? What have I done for this character to make me deserve all this shortage of food? Come on. Give me some fucking food, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a ancient... Uh, that's a lich. Uh, I have no real way of, like, escaping the lich, so I'm just gonna run upstairs and hopefully that's gonna handle it. The classic strategy, you know. Uh... Okay, I want to destroy this lich. That's a lot of ancient... <laughs> that's a lot of orbs of destruction, but unfortunately none of them hit, so... I don't know. Fuck me, I guess. I'm just bad. I should learn how to aim better, but apparently just can't. Okay, drop the... Hmm, should I drop the Sword of Zongle Zongledra? I feel like it's not that good anymore. I mean, maybe it's good. I don't know. Looks like I've been using a shitload of... Oh god, oh god. Okay, this is bad. Uh... Okay, I need to deal four of destruction here. Uh, main reason is because I needed to destroy the flight ghost immediately. Okay, throw destruction out. That's fine. Wow, we're actually running low on fucking decks now. I don't know what happened, but we just suddenly had to use a lot. Interesting. I'll probably try to scale back on the amount of decks I use now uh, for a little bit, and then just kind of come back to it later. So I'm going to do that by uh, digging holes in walls rather than necessarily fighting everything out in the open, probably. Or I could just do this, like, one of clouds. I would have done it uh, against this tr pack of enemies, because they're pretty easy, but the troll uh, earth elementalist would have ensured that I was uh, not going to be successful with my tunneling. So I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just fight them out in the open. Bit unfortunate, but, uh, you know. Man, what's up with all these liches? There's three liches in the same game. What the hell? That's supposed to be a rare enemy, damn it. Okay, I'll just fight in the cargo here. That's fine. Holy shit, we take so much damage. What the hell, man? What is... I don't get what's doing all this damage to us. It's, like, so weird. God. Uh, digging to a corner. Nope, he's got another troll of Earth Elementalist. I love Earth Elementalist. Yay. What an enjoyable game. <coughs> it, like, takes away our only real advantage is form suit. <coughs> A.K.A. our ability to kind of always be in a kill hall. Quick, get into a kill hall. I think Formus is good if you, like, know better. Know how to use the terrain to your advantage a lot more. Because if you just build, like, a random flat corridor all the time, you might end up with some pretty bad stuff. But if you use, like, a kill hall... Ooh, two decks of summoning, cool. Like that, for example. This is a nice kill hall. Or the double corner. Makes it very hard for opponents to, uh... Hit you with smite targeted stuff or summoning and stuff. You only have to ever fight one guy at a time. It's very powerful. Uh, this looks like a big-ass castle. I can probably go and do it. It's fine. <clears throat> There's nothing much in here, if I rem remember correctly. Just a bunch of, like, regular depth-slash-vault-level enemies. 
nothing too crazy. The loot's not great, um, which is, again, I've always griped about that, the loot being terrible in these kind of vaults, but, yeah, what can you do? Okay, uh, I'm reposting some stuff, but it's not quite good enough yet. I can fight these guys at this HP, I'm fine. I don't think there's any enemy here that can do, like, that much, 96 damage to me in that, in, like, three turns. So I'm kind of okay with just fighting them. <coughs> Uh, okay, long blades almost at Mindalay. It's good. Shields almost almost at Min Shield. I don't know what to call that. Min penalty. Uh, we're approaching our like strength, our like maximum strength in terms of offense and defense capability. And then after that, we can train like train fighting and stuff uh, more rapidly, I guess. I also should eventually start training my invo again, just to kind of scale my decks up again. It's not, like, incredibly important, but, you know, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of nice. I'm not really training that much else anyway. I might as well do it. It's kind of good. You know, there's not, the reasoning is not, like, crazy special or anything. It's just, I think it's a good idea to do it, so I'll do it. Might not even be the right way to do it. I don't know. But it's the way I'm certainly doing it. Okay, do another kill hole here. That little choke point, that little corner there is really effective against uh, all mages and stuff. Like, even fireball mages, like fire giants and stuff, they won't shoot a fireball, because they they don't want to hurt themselves, I think. A ruined battle axe. Damn. So yeah, this is like what I mean. The We went through this entire fucking area. We got one battle axe, one wand of earth, oh, sorry, one staff of the earth, and, uh, and a book. It's like, okay. I mean, I fought like 55 guys, and I got that reward. That's pretty nonsense. I mean, I guess, like, you could argue that the branch is not, the, the vault is not, like, super dangerous, but then if it's not dangerous, why the hell does it exist? You know what I mean? The risk-reward ratio is so low. I don't know. The game just, I think you just have to accept at some point this game strongly incentivizes degenerative play, despite what people say about, you know, oh, dev philosophy makes it so that degenerate play is, like, not good. No. The best way to play this game is really to just see as little of it as possible. It's kind of sad, actually. Alright, I'm gonna summon some stuff, just so that uh, I potentially don't get distorted. I don't really care if I do get distorted. I mean, like, Abyss is kind of bad for Formicid, because it can't teleport away, but it's not that bad. I can just kind of deal with it at this level. XL23, almost 24. Double Etten. Okay, I'm willing to fight, I'm willing to move all the way back to a corridor. Etten's can do some crazy damage if you're not paying attention. Um, wow, four Etten's on the same floor. Five Ettons! Whoa! Okay. Calm down there, dude. Another deck of escape. Six Ettons! What the fuck? Alright, it must be a vault. There must be, yeah. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, that's a lot of Ettons. It's like counting sheep, except Ettons. Ettons doesn't sound like a word anymore. It sounds a bit like Etsy. Man, that's a lot of Ettons. Another one! What the fuck? On one floor? I've never seen that many on one floor. Like, legitimately, never seen one. I want to see what this vault is now. It's just a bunch of ogres here. I don't care about them. This must be like a hidey hole or something. Oh, okay. That was a bunch of gold there. So I guess this must be a, like a full floor vault or something. I don't normally like bother exploring these, but you know. Might as well. This character is generic melee. I can do it if I want. Oh, also, yeah. Someone was asking if I have an unarmed run. Um... And then I realized I haven't done an unarmed run in, like, so damn long. I might actually do one next video. Like, greater player be damned. Another three Ettons. Holy shit. Get some fucking crazy amounts of Ettons here. So yeah, I might do an unarmed run. Uh, not cool. I might do something interesting, like a halfling unarmed or something. Something, like, really stupid looking. Um, just for funsies. I don't know. What do, what do I actually have left? I, I haven't checked. <gasps> no. Scandalous. I had to use two heal wounds potions for that. Just to get out of fucking max damage range. What the hell, man? Why do they do this to me? Are there any shields? No. Okay. Uh, great care. I want to ask Beam what I haven't won left. I think Ghoul's like an obvious choice for an unarmed combat guy. 
And so is Troll. So I guess I could do one of those, but I could also do like a Merfolk on a... You know, I haven't done a Merfolk Transmuter in a long time. I might actually do that. But I kind of want to be efficient. What I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should be efficient or should I just go for a Merfolk Transmuter? I don't even know if Transmuter is like that popular to watch anyway. It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's not even worth it. I'll have to see what people think about it. And if no one thinks anything about it, then I'll just probably continue the greater player run. Because I do want to get this thing done. Pina Colada is like... Pina Colada and Slow Demise are like the two big projects left. Oh wait, no, and Demise 101. But Demise 101 is not really a... Not really like a... On-channel kind of thing that I have to worry about. Holy fucking shit. Why do we take so much goddamn damage? What the fuck? This character sucks, dude. <laughs> Okay, let's turn long blades off. Train invocations, hell yeah. What what is making my character so bad though? 200 HP, you'd expect it to be pretty good. I guess it's because I just don't have any resistances. I need some. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of resistances. Holy shit. Okay, uh No, there's actually nothing that I really care about. Like I have one pip of fire resistance and cold resistance from hot swapping. I guess I should just Okay, you know what, I think what they just want me to do is just hot swap between the two over and over again. I think Dex is pretty good here. I don't need strength as much. I have 23, that's a pretty good amount. Yeah, I think I think what I need to do is just hot swap more. I'm just not doing it, and that's causing me to take a lot of damage. The first pip of, pi of resistance is super strong, because it gives you 50% damage reduction. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a juggernaut, okay. Let us start spamming the destruction decks. Start doing some damage. <laughs> I like how everything on the right there, I didn't even see them in melee, but they just all ended up dying. <gasps> that looks so cool! Oh my god, it's a speed demon blade! Holy shit! Wait, there's a fucking great sword! Oh, that's really good as well. Uh, protection is not that good though. Oh man, that's so tempting. No, 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 no. Look at the quick. This thing strikes at 0.4, holy shit it's so good, but it's plus 5, but it's a demon blade of speed. No, I gotta use this, there's no way it's not good, this thing is fucking insane. Speed is like an insane brand. Aw oh, man. Alright, I don't need these double swords and stuff. The great sword's actually not too bad of a side swap, because it gives me RLEC, which is pretty good. Uh, I guess the demon blade of speed is just really strong, like it's really good speed makes me attack so fast like 0.4 speed on a weapon that's really good i assume yeah you can even look at the damage i'm dealing it's fucking crazy okay actually i should i should also to be fair check for the deep great sword as well check the dps on this thing if it's any good then i'll be happy but it doesn't look as good as the uh great sword of speed to be honest Okay, this is just unfair. This is just ridiculous. Come on now. How are you going to do me like this? Come on. I'm going to use the de uh, elixir. Okay, so this elixir is broken. Look at this. Look at my HP. What the fuck? It's so good. Holy shit. It's so good. <laughs> That's the legendary deck of escape plus elixir uh, card. You instantly gain like all your HP back. It's fucking disgustingly good. And it's the only reason why I even bother to use... Uh, escape decks, and it's also the only reason why I stack four on escape decks, because that's literally the best possible card in the game. Alright, again, Wand of Clouds coming to save the day, being a badass bowler. Uh, if that Storm Dragon dropped in armor, I might actually consider it. Okay, he didn't. Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay, though. We just gotta handle it. Did I get mutated just then? No. Okay, thank goodness. I need to kill this... No. This Kako Demon. Wow, he's really not dying. No! God damn it. That's the downside of speed. It just isn't fast. It doesn't hit, hit hard enough. A Demon Blade of Electrocution. God damn it. There's so many good things. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I really want to use all this stuff. Like, all of these weapons are cool for a different reason. They're all, like, really good in-game gear. No, dude. God damn it. 
Okay, well, some sacrifices have to be made. I just have to use the speed sword. Uh, I guess I'll use the speed sword then. Silomeo. So unfortunate of me to have to resort to using a speed demon blade. You know what I mean? I'm so unlucky. Oh no. <laughs> there was once a, a streamer on like YouTube or Twitch or something. Uh, he was clearly a new player, so I'm not gonna like. It's not like really his fault, but I guess he just didn't realize how lucky he was. He's like, oh yeah, my gear's not that good. And then I was looking at the gear that he had. Every single one of his items was an artifact. I was like, what the fuck are you on about? You're fucking crazy. That's... Your gear is good because... What? Your gear is not good and you have artifacts of every kind. Like, literally all your gear except for the boots of running you had. Uh, uh artifact. Like, look at my... My character's not even that good, man. And I consider him, like, insanely strong. And he has nothing. This guy has, like, nothing. Come on. Large shield. Come on. Damn it. Okay. I might actually just enchant some large shield up a little bit. Not too much. And I immediately find a branded shield. Motherfucker. Though technically I don't think I'll use this. Let's see. Yeah, it's only plus two. Okay, good. If it was reflection, I would have been really upset because I'd be losing out on quite some stuff. But thankfully I'm a badass. And I, uh, I only get bad luck. So, you know. No reflect or resistance shield for me. I don't think there is a shield of resistance, actually. There should be one. A shield of temperature. Hell, I'd take a shield of fire resistance, to be honest. It's that good. But hey, whatever. Ornate deck of summoning. Alright, sweet. We're getting our, all our decks back. Thanks to Faith. Uh, thanks to Faith. We have, like, a really fast recharge rate on our decks. I actually used... I don't even know why I used that many today, anyway. Like, I, I think I panicked a little bit. Storm Dragon Scales. Now, that's an interesting one. This character might actually be one of those few ones that care enough about Storm Dragon armor. So, 2617 is... Uh... 43. This is... 40. That's not bad. That's really not that bad. Um... Oh, it's just directly worse, though. Right now. It does give me RLEC, but it's just directly worse by three stats. Like, it's worse in armor and evade. I could enchant this up to two to make it equal, but... Eh, whatever. We'll get Gold Dragon today. It's fine. D don't even have to worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry. It's all good. Alright, I was hoping to find some good shit here. I was uh, thoroughly disappointed. Didn't get anything good. Uh, poison resistance is like the only thing that I would have wanted, but I don't need it. Uh, protection from magic I already have, Gormand, Ice, no, Ring of Evasion, mm. You could argue that 3 Evade is better than 4, uh, 4 armor, but as we all know, a uh, bird in the hand is worth 2 in the bush, though I don't know what I'm doing with a bird in my hand. They, they probably don't, they're not happy about the, it being in my hand, but yeah, the, I don't really want to go and buy an Evade Ring, it just doesn't make much sense. Oh, I didn't see these... This ice dragon on them. That's Trog's thing. That's Trog's battle axe. Trog's hand. Wrath of Trog. It's pretty cool. I mean, I can't use it because I'm not using a uh, maces. Oh, sorry, axes. But, uh, you know, it's cool. It's legit. I'll take it. I'm just going to sit in this corridor here and just kind of punch through these idiots. Actually, yeah, no. Ice dragon armor is not going to be good because I don't think ice dragon armor can ever give you. RF. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Uh, Deck of Summoning. That was a 70 damage Crystal Spear. Holy shit. I've never even seen those guys do that much damage. That's crazy. Okay. Either I got super unlucky or that was just crazy. Like, good RNG for them. Okay, I'm petrified now. This is potentially very bad. Okay, well... Actually, no. Catabla Pie are not that threatening, apparently, for this character. I don't know. Alright, let's 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 actually go check those uh, scale... Uh, these Ice Dragon scales out. Are there any troves? Any troves? No trove? Okay. Just making sure, because sometimes, you know, it could be really important. Might need to do it. But let's check this out. That's garbage. <laughs> Damn it. You know, sometimes you just dream of, like, a good thing, but 
today was not one of those days where you get the thing that you want. Today was a day that you just get shit on. So unlucky me, I guess. All right. Uh, okay, well, since this is going to be a shorter video today, um, I just want to I just want to quickly talk a little bit about my upcoming series. And I know that you guys probably don't give a shit, but I think it's important, damn it. Uh, let me just pull it up. So, um, I'll, I'll just give you like a teaser on it, but basically it looks like this. I haven't, I haven't got a name for it yet, but, uh, let me, let me just pull it up on my second monitor so I can bring it down. Uh, oops. Yeah, so this is, this is my, uh, God tutorial. Um, I'll just like blast through this so you guys can pause it and take a look. Uh, but the thing I wanted to get community input on before I like kind of start this this thing I intend to do all gods uh, is my rating system. I want to have a bunch of like like universal kind of ratings that I was gonna put in, and I was inspired by uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures like stand ratings where they have like uh, a letter grading on like six stats, and obviously the stats don't wreck like reflect how good the god is every time because like some stands are like really fucking bad overall but in the in the actual like uh show they're like super fucking absurdly strong they can only be beaten by a few things but like i wanted to have like some level of universal grading systems to kind of like give you an overall idea of how i think about the god um but yeah i that i intend to be like i, I intended to be like 23 or however long how many how many gods there are like system systematic review of each god all their abilities the the tips and tricks that you need to like make the god work what kind of play styles it's good for all that shit um i made it yesterday by the way if you didn't know why i didn't upload yesterday it's because nbn fucked me and i uh, had no had like basically no internet for the entire day um but yeah like i'm, I'm hoping that this series is going to be helpful like the greater player run like the mage tutorial like i just want to have a decent amount of information on all gods so you don't have to go looking through every video one of every god uh, every combo to check what god choice i made and like say oh here's what he talks about it i just want to have like a nice place to put all that stuff um like my take on all this stuff plus the facts and i'll be kind of talking like I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about formulas not too much though um because i want to i do want to talk about formulas but i don't want to like explain the formula because i find that the math in crawl is stupid unintuitive difficult to read etc etc um so i i don't want to have like a long ass discussion on oh uh, the duration of both heroism and finesse is 10 plus 3d 1v d invis plus 1d in uh, invocations plus 1d invocation so like you know you should always train optimally to you know 6.75 to maximize your get no like that's not worth my time i don't think it's worth anyone's time to really think about that uh i will talk briefly about it but i won't talk a lot about it right so yeah uh let me know what you think and uh thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow with the finishing touches of this series and then we'll go on to talk about maybe this god thing in the in the middle of the week somehow stream will probably be on on saturday i might move it to friday i might move it to sunday i don't know like um right now there's some renovations going on so i have no idea how things are going to turn out uh not for my house but for the house next to us sometimes there's loud banging you have to be worried sometimes we'll see how things go anyway goodbye um see you all tomorrow enjoy your day eat your beans don't eat too much though they'll make you fart uh don't don't uh don't do drugs stay in school uh text your mom maybe text your dad if you feel like it text your mom um you know she cares uh and uh, make sure that you don't eat too much carbs because that'll make you really puffy bye